Hi, again, we have another challenge before us here. It's a, a math algebra, and how do we solve this? I, I thought I've solved a question like this, or a similar question like this on this channel already. Okay, so I'm going to leave a link in the description below where you can get a, a, the similar or uh, the typology of this question on this channel. Okay, I'm going to leave it in the description below. So how do we solve this question here? Here we have x plus y equal to 7 and x, y is equal to 7. It's a very simple uh, math challenge, but yeah, let's go um, systematically because it was actually dropped by someone and uh, I tried to, you know, uh, give the person the tips on how to solve it, but he said that you make a video on it. Hence, I'm here with it. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve this. So here we take a selection. So this is our selection. All right, this is O, please. So let's take this as our equation one and give this as our equation two. So from equation two, let's make um, y the subject for the formula. So if we make y the subject for the formula, this is going to give us y is equal to seven all over our s. So let's give this equation three, as simple as that. So what we do next here now, let's put equation three into equation one. So wherever we see y, let's put in this value seven all over x. So let's take our equation one. Our equation one is x plus y equals to seven. Again, we want to replace y with this. So this is going to give us x plus seven all over x, rather all over x. This is equal to our seven. We clear off this x here. So this will give us x squared plus seven equal to seven x. Rearrange, move this to the side. This will give us x squared minus seven x plus setting equals to zero. This is a quadratic equation and we cannot use the factorization method. So the best way to solve this is to use the um, complexity the square method. Rather, no, we use the um, formula method, right? Okay, so using the formula method, this is going to give us our x will be equal to minus b plus minus the square root of our b squared minus 4 ac everything all over 2a. The simplest thing to do here is just to bring out our a, b, and c from a big quadratic equation. So our a is the coefficient of x squared. So we have here a is equal to 1, and our b is the coefficient of x. So we have b is equal to minus 7, and our c is the constant term 7. So we put down 7 here. So we can just go ahead and substitute everything inside our formula here. Okay, so let's take here. So this now implies we have our x will not be equal to, or let me write this very well, please. So what is our b we said? We said minus seven. So we have minus bracket minus seven plus bracket plus minus the square root of our minus seven. This is seven r to the power of two minus four into our a is one plus bracket bracket seven close bracket, everything all over two into one. So let's continue on this side of the bird and see what this gives us in 10. All right, so let's go ahead here. Yeah? All we just need to do is just to open up everything here. Yeah? So we're gonna have our x will now be equal to minus times minus will give us seven. So we have seven plus minus the square root. Seven square will give us, a uh, minus seven square will give us 39, right? So we'll have your 49, then minus, um, let's go ahead. So four times one times seven, that will give us minus 28, right? So this will give us here 28, everything all over two. So this is equal to seven plus minus the square root of, if we subtract this from this, this will give us 21. So we have here 21 all over two. Easy. We cannot split 21 beyond this unless we want to find the numerical value of this which is about 4.58 something 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 right or 4.85 something all right so we have two solutions from here now which are x1 and x2 so let's go ahead and bring out our value so we have our x1 is equal to one all over two bracket our seven we take the plus sign first into the square root of 21 is 21 please the close bracket 
and our x2 is equal to 1 all over 2 into the square root of 7 minus the square root of um, 21. So these are the two values of x, okay, from that quadratic equation. Again, we must get the values of y1 and y2 that were plugged into the system alongside with this we give us a perfect solution or we make the equation a complete equation so how do we get that now let's go back to our expression here we have made y the subject of the formula we say y is equal to 7 all over 4 right so let's take in here so for y equal to 1 so let's take here y1 is equal to we're going to substitute x1 into the system so we're going to have here 7 all of our, our expression here is 7 plus the square root of 21 all of our 2. Now this could be written as 7 times our 2 all of our 7 there plus square root of 21. Easy. Okay. Now this is all of our 1, mind you. This is all of our 1. So this is going to give us here. We have here to be 14 all over the 7 plus the square root of 21. Now, if you look at this, this is in the solved form. So we can still simplify this down. And how do we simplify this? We find the conjugate. In other words, we rationalize the denominator. Okay? So how do we do that? So this will give us here 14 into... The conjugate of this is going to give us 7 minus the square root of 21, those bracket. We do same to the bottom. So we have 7 plus the square root of 21, close bracket, bracket, 7 minus the square root of 21, close bracket. So we'll try to rationalize the denominator, right? Okay, so let's continue here and see what this gives us in turn. So let's keep this side or the numerator here. So this will now give us our y will now be equal to, we said we have here 14 into our 7 minus the square root of 21, right? Close bracket, all over. If we use this to multiply this, what will come out is going to give us 7 square minus the square of square root of 21. In other words, we're going to have 7 to the power of 2 minus bracket the square root of 21 r squared that's what will come out if we multiply this systematically because this is this is a conjugate to this right good so from here we're going to have this to be 14 bracket 7 minus the square root of 21 close bracket the all over this will give us 49 the minus this this we live with this right so we're left with 21 so we now have 14 bracket, we have 7 minus the square root of 21, close bracket, all over this from this will give us 28, right? So this can divide this. So 40 here, well, 40 here we have 2, so we're going to have this to be our 7 minus the square root of 21, all over what? 2. So we have our y1 is equal to, this is 1 please, so y1 is equal to 1 all over 2, bracket 7 minus the square root of 21, close bracket. That is our y1. Now, just take a critical look at our x1 and y1. Look at our x1. Here we have 1 all over 2, bracket 7 plus square root of 1. Look at our y1. 1 all over 2, bracket 7 minus the square root of 21. So this is more or less the conjugate of this. So what does that tell us? It shows that our y2, our y2 will be a conjugate of x2. But if you're not too clear with that, let's still go ahead and solve for our y2. All right? So let's erase this side of the board. From our y2, we're going to have this to be our y2 will now be equal to, we know that from equation 2, sorry, equation 3, we said, our, our y is equal to 7 all over x. So look at our x2. So this is going to give us here um, 7 minus the square root of 21 
all over 2. Again, this will now give us 7 times 2, okay? All over our 7 minus the square root of 21. Okay? So, if this is true, this will give us 14, right? So, this is going to give us here 14 all over 7 minus the square root of 21. Here we rationalize the denominator again by multiplying both sides by the conjugate. So we have 14 into 7 plus the square root of 21, close bracket, all over 7 minus the square root of 21, close bracket, bracket 7, then plus the square root of 21. Sorry, we just have to conserve the space here. So this is 21, please. Okay. So again, let's keep the numerator. So we have here 14 bracket 7 plus the square root of 21 close bracket all over. If we use that same pattern, we're going to have 7 square minus the square root of 21 square. So we have here 7 square minus the square root of 21 r squared. Okay. So this will now end up giving us 14 bracket the 7 plus the square root of 21 plus bracket all over this will give us 49 minus 21. Remember, this this goes with this. So if we now simplify this, we give us what? Um, 28, like we had in the other time. So this will give us 28, right? The denominator is going to give us 28. Then our numerator, I just push it this way here. Okay, so if we divide then we're going to have therefore our y2 will now be equal to this, which is 1 all over 2 bracket 7 plus the square root of 21 plus bracket. This is the value of our y2. Now, if you want to check if this satisfies the original equation, just pick x1 and y1 plug it into this system. When you simplify, it's going to give you 7. And if you also plug it into equation 2, it also gives you 7. Or pick our x2, look at our x2 and our y2, put it into the equation, then you get the right solution. Like I said, if you check this, this is a conjugate of our x, sorry, y1. Or we can say y1 is a conjugate of x1. Again, our y2, if you look at it carefully, is a conjugate of our s2. Easy. So this marks the end to of uh, this simple math algebra or this simple question. Okay. So this marks the end to uh, this challenge here. If you learn something from this challenge, do not forget to give the video a thumbs up. If you have any question with regards to this, drop it in the comment section. And again, I'll see some a comment in the comment section of which I said I will reply to you know distant time. Please still bear with me, but I will reply. I will still reply to them. Okay, you know distant time. All right. Thanks for watching and at the same time dropping your comments. Okay. Thanks once again. We love you. Bye for now.